everyone today we're making a yummy olivier salad using 10 ounces of sweet peas two split chicken breasts or you may use drumsticks or chicken thighs 10 medium-sized potatoes you may use any type of potatoes based on your preference 19 fluid ounces or 1.2 pounds of pickled cucumbers one large onion to make your chicken flavorful three large brown eggs of course it doesn't matter if you use brown or white eggs two large carrots which are rich in beta carotene and folate 11.25 fluid ounces of mayo three quarters of a teaspoon sea salt or table salt one teaspoon of turmeric powder which has anti-inflammatory benefits one cinnamon stick that's about 12 centimeters long and half a teaspoon of black ground pepper start by cooking your chicken first as it'll take the longest to cook cut your onion into large pieces and add one tablespoon of turmeric powder Olivier salad is a traditional salad dish in Russian cuisine, which is also popular in many European countries, Middle Eastern countries, and also throughout Latin America. Break the cinnamon stick into two or more pieces as it'll give your chicken a delightful taste. Next, add half a teaspoon of black ground pepper. Keep in mind that you can also add chili pepper or other kinds of pepper to make your chicken more spicy. Pour 6 to 8 cups of water to your pressure cooker or non-stick pod and let it cook on medium-high heat for 20 to 40 minutes. Later, start cooking your peas, potatoes, and eggs in water on medium-high heat. This process will take about 10 to 15 minutes for the peas and 20 to 30 minutes for your potatoes and eggs. Dice your pickled cucumbers so that they are all similar in size. It's crucial to use sugar-free unsweetened pickles as the salty taste will complement this dish. This particular dish has many variations, but the original version of the salad was invented in the 1860s by a cook of Belgian origin, Lucien Olivier, who was a chef at one of Moscow's most celebrated restaurants. Olivier's salad became quickly popular and it was the restaurant's signature dish. After you're finished dicing your pickled cucumbers, begin mashing your potatoes. Of course, you can use an electric masher for this step. I'm gonna leave all the details about this recipe in my description box. So don't forget to check it out, subscribe to my channel, and hit that like button for me. The original recipe for this dish has been modified throughout time. Today's popular version of Olivier salad containing boiled eggs, dill pickles, peas, eggs, carrots, and boiled chicken slash beef dressed with mayo is a version of someone else's salad. And this only faintly resembles Olivier's original creation. As you can see, I have three hard boiled eggs. I'm going to separate my egg yolks from the egg whites as they have unique and different textures. I'm going to mix the egg yolks with my potatoes as the potatoes and the egg yolks have similar texture and then try to mash the egg whites with the back of my fork as I believe this is the best method to cut your egg whites into small bits. In this video, I'm sharing the Persian version of this dish. Just like all of the other versions of Olivier's grand creation, this isn't even remotely similar to the original. His salad included smoked duck, crayfish, and even caviar. Most contemporary versions are meatless or are made with ham or other cold meat. The Persian version uses shredded chicken and mashed potatoes instead of diced potatoes. I believe my chicken pieces are fully cooked. I'm gonna add three quarters of a teaspoon sea salt 
and if you're not sure about whether your chicken pieces are cooked or not you can use a meat tester or a fork to assess its status next begin mashing your carrots using the back of a fork some individuals prefer to dice their carrots but i think mashing them is the way to go as the cooked carrots have a very soft delicate texture shred your chicken breasts with your fingers or two forks you definitely want to shred the chicken breast instead of chopping it because shredded chicken gives a very nice texture to the salad olivier salad can be served as a side dish a main course or sandwich but it is always one of the most popular dishes at any gathering picnics or road trips I usually make it in large amounts a day in advance and store it in an airtight container in the fridge. This is a convenient time saver for the day of the party or picnic. You can keep it in the fridge for two to three days. Make sure you remove all the bones and use skinless chicken breasts. Cooking chicken without the skin, especially white chicken, can make it very dry. However, since we cooked our chicken in water, it'll hold in its moisture. Next, add your mayo in small increments. Give it a good mix and then add more. I'm going to use the entire tube, but you can use more or less depending on your preference. This particular recipe is for five to seven people, so you can adjust the amount of ingredients used based on the number of people that you're serving. Although unnecessary, you can also add some mustard and apple cider vinegar if you prefer. I normally don't add any extra salt to this salad because of the initial salt that I added to the chicken, the salt in pickled cucumbers, and also the salt in my mayo. But if you'd like to add extra salt, please do so after you've already added and mixed the mayo. Then add the salt in small amounts to taste. I just added my diced pickled cucumbers and peas to the rest of this mixture. You want to add your peas as the last ingredient to preserve its integrity. We don't want to injure the beautiful shape of our peas in the mixing process of our salad. My delightful Olivier salad is ready to be served. I have coated the surface with an extra layer of mayo and garnished it with some peas. For those of you who enjoyed watching this rich and flavorful salad recipe, I hope you will try it at home and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. I usually serve Olivier salad with spicy dill pickles, ripe tomatoes, romaine lettuce, olives, and of course, some bread. Please don't forget to smash the like button and follow me on Instagram. I hope to see you in my next episode. Take care.